Today we're looking at a very special AEW ringside exclusive review, man. Today we're looking at the brand new AEW Unrivaled ringside exclusive Hook figure. And we're sending Hook today, man. Looking pretty good here. This, of course, actually is our fourth Hook figure. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, I don't remember having four Hook figures. Well, Brad, it's the truth. You have the regular Unmatched Series 7 in the green. You have the Unmatched Series 7 Chase in the cream. That rhymed. Pretty cool. We have the Amazon exclusive Hook Housing 2-pack. And then, of course, today we do have the ringside exclusive hook figure looking pretty damn schnazzy right here if I do say so myself but today man we are diving in here as you guys can see you got hook here in the nice font there that is the Taz font I do believe nice portrait of hook here AEW logo up here AEW logo on the top with a little gold embossment on the side it does say hook in the same font you got FTW champion AEW over here other side of the packaging, you do get the number there and then the rest of the info from the other side. And on the back, you just get a nice, like, Super Saiyan-looking-ass portrait of Hook there with the hook on the bottom right there, so that's good. But what's cool about the AEW figures is you can usually open it up Velcro-style, and you have a shot of the figure here. Looking okay, I'd say. It's looking pretty damn good. It's got the championship over the shoulder. And then on the other side, you do have 730 here, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing that's cool is that you can, like, bend it here, and it still says Hook there. So I think that it's cool that it doesn't open all the way up, and it's got a nice... Image and portrayal there, and you guys know I love white, so that looks clean there. It's got the white backpack in there. Very badass gear as well, so I'm excited for the hook figure, man. I can't wait to uh, crack him out of the packaging and find out what this guy's all about. So, I feel like we're getting AEW figures at a clip now from Ringside Collectibles as far as exclusives go. Also, people tell me I look like Hook. I don't know if that's true or not. You guys can let me know down below. However, if you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would absolutely appreciate it if you guys want to go over there use the code, and I greatly appreciate your support. Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up and crack Hook out of his packaging and find out what Hook's all about. So here's the Hook figure out of the packaging, man. This figure kicks all the asses, all right? This is this is a pretty enjoyable figure, and I know, I bet not that many people are gonna really tune into the review, at least in terms of, like, other reviews. You know, typically when we get into the WWE Elite figures and stuff like that, you know, sometimes we'll get, like, 20K, 15K, 10K, somewhere in there, and sometimes it's even more than that or double that sometimes, depending on what the figure is and the hype level for the figure, but I bet, you know, maybe 5 to 6K will probably check this out, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but they're gonna miss out on a banger figure because this one's really enjoyable, and we're gonna dive into all those things man of course rotating base is still bummy been trying to work on that just need to order a new one i guess i don't know what the hell the deal is it keeps short circuiting it's not really working right i don't know what's going on there but i'm having a lot of fun with this figure man it's really uh it's got some really cool accessories we're gonna dive into that of course and let's start things off with that man let's, let's dive into the accessories of the figure first and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the hook figure itself all right man, so diving into the accessories that you get with the ftw exclusive ringside exclusive hook i should say you get a damn good amount of accessories right here man it's kind of impressive i think one that a a lot of people are going to be talking about and the I mean this thing is called FTW Champion Hook like that is the point of this thing I think is the FTW Championship a lot of people have been waiting on this from Jazzwares for a really long time they've been wanting this in figure form and the only way to get it is through this at least at this time of recording I'm pretty sure so if you guys want the FTW Championship to put with your Ricky Starks or your Brian Cage or your Taz or anything you want to do man you're gonna to have to buy this figure at least at the time being but I think it looks pretty good I like all the shininess I like the coloration of it the size seems to be pretty accurate I mean it may be like five percent oversized but I don't think it's anything egregious or anything like that it looks really clean side plates look clean everything is nice and dandy very damn nice I like the FTW title and I always it really reminds me of like the US spinner or something at least the strap for sure and then all the circular plates on it just give me a real you know John Cena United States Championship spinner championship vibe up next we do get a backpack accessory now it reminds me a lot of the Peter and Ned two pack from the Spider-Man Marvel Legends set but it's pretty damn stiff man I mean this is a stiff white backpack you guys know I like white white so this looks good here it's one straps open and I did struggle to put this on the figure I couldn't really finesse it on there but maybe you guys are better than me and you might be able to like take the head off and slide this over and like you know go up under an arm and slide it over the shoulder potentially we'll have to play with that here in a minute but I don't know it's very stiff and apparently I, I hear some rumblings of some stuff that could be in the future and I think it's going to greatly improve some of the stuff we see like this so we will have to see about that but the zippers sculpted on there nice it's good coloration but I'm glad to have the backpack I'd rather have the backpack than not have the backpack like door Explorers just around the corner, but it's a nice accessory to include. We also get our bag of potato chips right here that have that same jack-o'-lantern Halloween style graphic on it, which I think looks awesome, but it says hook down here. It's got pictures of chips right there, and it is just a purple bag, which is cool. You know, it reminds me of a lot of Doritos and stuff like that, so this is cool. I do wish, though, you know, it's cool because he does have this interchangeable hand that is holding a chip, which I think is awesome. I think this is so great, but there's no head sculpt that's eating anything, and there's no bag that's open, so it's just like 
like he has a bag here that's unopened and then one chip. So I need them to include a bag just like this that's open that has some orange down in it for the future so that I can have him like maybe reaching in the bag and then having him have the chip. I don't know. You, you just see what I'm talking about there. But this is still badass. I like this a lot. And then this holding chip hand is awesome. Like eating the chip. I think that's so cool. And you know, that's just one of those. It reminds me a lot of like the ice cream bar CM Punk and stuff like that. Just really unique accessories and stuff like that that I enjoy from Jazzwares and AEW. They do it like there's just so many good things that they do. Now we also get his necklace, which we've seen on all the previous hook figures. I like this a lot. I think it looks pretty clean. I think they scaled it down as much as you really can. Like obviously this is a little bit bigger than what it actually is, but I don't think you can really scale that down anymore without it being microscopic. So I think this is nice. I like the necklace accessories with figures. It really stands out about them. Then we get this cloth hoodie, which I think is great. It fits the figure really well, as you guys saw in the beginning when we were showing it rotating, or I tried to rotate. You know what I mean? It's a hoodie here. It's just a standard black hoodie. Fits the figure really well, and I don't know if it's going to stain, but it does have a Velcro on there. It fits the figure nice. I would remove the hands before putting it on the figure, but it's still really good. Quality, you know, I don't think you're going to rip holes in it. It's not as, like, super thick, so I think it fits nice. Just a lot of good stuff, and then you have, like, the fake pockets on there, and there's nothing on the back or anything, so, you know, it's just standard black hoodie. You can put this on a million people, so there's that, but this is a really quality accessory. I just hope it doesn't stain. And then we get two interchangeable head sculpts. This is the standard head sculpt we saw on the Unmatched Series 7, so nothing immaculate about it. It is a good head sculpt. It's just nothing different about it compared to the other head sculpts. And then I'm pretty sure we saw this on the Hook Housing 2-pack from Amazon. And then we have this new head sculpt that has the sunglasses actually sculpted on it. There is no, you know, you can't remove them or anything, which I don't think is a big deal. You know, he's got his hair coming over the top there. Probably, they probably finessed it and tried to get it where you could just add sunglasses to his existing figure. But with his crazy hair and everything, I think this is, uh... But with his crazy hair and stuff, I think this is the way to go. Just go ahead and sculpt those sunglasses on there, and I think it'll get the job done for everybody, you know? And I, th I like his haircut. I think his haircut's badass. He looks, yeah, a handsome young fella right there. You got a little something special going on there, young man. And then for our interchangeable hands, we already saw the chip hand, but we also have the mic holding or gripping or weapon wielding, whatever you want to call it, hands that have the white tape actually sculpted on there, and these look really, really good. All right, man, so getting into the hook figure, starting off the top of the head sculpt. We saw this head sculpt before, as we just touched on in the accessories department of the video, which is just a weird thing to say, but you get the point. But I like the way they build the hook figures. I like the unique torso. I think it looks really, really good. The necklace looks good. I think all of his tattoos here are clean. Get a little bit of a thing there. I don't know if that's from an ab crunch or what, but you guys can see the little marks right there. I don't think he had some sort of surgery or cuts right there. Or maybe I'm just completely oblivious and an idiot, but all of his tattoos look good going around. You have the mom tattoo. Got his forearm tat on the back, white wrist tape, and then he's got on his boxing trunks right here, which are awesome. You got hook right there, and then you have that same jack-o'-lantern font, which I think looks awesome. That's what I call it. You know, you got like the pumpkin face or the jack-o'-lantern face right there. And then on the back, you do get the 730 right there or 730, which looks awesome. I love the black and white. Black and white attires are just so clean, man. Especially when you get a, a good white base and then you contrast it with black. Very, very clean. But they did a really good job here on this gear. And then he does have his tattoos down here, which also rhymed again. I am great with unintentional rhyming, man. Get out of my face. Then you go down to the boots, which I think are also awesome. You get that same exact graphic there and then the 730 down there. So that just looks, I don't know, that's just peak, man. That looks great. I'm all for custom footwear and boots and shoes and being swaggy. That's that's nice. But this figure's pretty damn good, man. You're gonna look at this figure and tell me you don't enjoy it. And for whatever reason, it just feels better in the hand to me than his Unmatched Series 7. And it probably is not like any different in any way. It just feels buttery smooth compared to that one, in my opinion. And I, I'm gonna be real. I don't think this figure is as poseable as it could be. And I don't know what that is. Like, it's not as posable as a Darby Allen figure, but it still feels really good in the hand, which I do appreciate. This figure is just damn nice, man. I really like this hook figure. I like it so much more than the green shorts version, which is, of course, like your perennial hook, but I like this one a hell of a lot, man, but let's get into our hook figure comparisons, and for our first hook figure comparison, we do have the Unmatched Series 7 on the left, and then the Ringside Exclusive FTW Champion hook on the right, and again, I do have the two-pack hook housing I just haven't reviewed. I have both of them still in the shipper, because I've had no damn time to do anything, so there's that, but it is nice to see these up next to each other, and again, I gotta track down the chase hook. I know a lot of people have been finding that at retail, so hopefully I can find myself a cream hook. If you guys have a cream hook, hit, hit, me, hit me up, man. We, maybe we make a trade or a deal of some kind. I really want that cream hook. And then for our next hook comparison, we do have him with Taz, of course, in his long sweater there, so it's nice to see these up next to each other, do some comparisons and things like that. I really want a new Taz figure. Not that this one's, like, horrific, but it certainly could be improved upon. That's another chase figure I have. If, if you have the chase Taz figure, men on card. I think it's with the gray pants on. Hit me up. Maybe we can make a deal or something like that. I don't know. I like to 
add that in at the end, like keep, keep doing segments where at the end I say, well, maybe we can make a deal or something like that. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. And then for some more ringside exclusive AEW figure reviews, I was going to go with our last four ringside exclusives, but for some reason, my uh, I can't find my Sammy Guevara. I literally have the Unrivaled 4 and the Target exclusive to my left, and I have the Tay Conti from the thumbnail of that figure fall over again. Damn, man. Jeez. But I can't find my Sammy Guevara TNT Champion ringside exclusive, but I was going to compare those four, but we have the Coffin Drop ringside exclusive Darby Allen, the Danhausen 2 Nice 2 Evil ringside exclusive, and then the Blood and Guts Wheeler Yuta ringside exclusive, but comparing all of these, you know, we saw all of those ringside exclusives up next to each other, and now we actually have them all in the plastic right in front of me, so that's pretty awesome. So, you know, you can just kind of pick your poison, which ones you like and don't like, but I like all four of the ringside exclusives, and they actually blew me away in terms of execution, but I really like this hook figure, man. I'm actually damn blown away. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I found him. Now, look at that. Four ringside exclusives from AEW and Jazzwares just in the last couple months, man. Pretty outrageous. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm here for it all day. If I had to rank these from worst to best, probably if I took this like this and then moved it like that and put that right there, that is how I would rank them from worst to best, uh, reading right to left. So it would be number one, number two, number three, number four, if I had to rank them in terms of all of the different stuff. Let me know how you'd rank these down in the comment section below. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our WWE... Talk about an outtake. Holy shit. Messing up every freaking thing, man. Talking about WWE figures. Not even a WWE figure. Hook not standing right. About to fight everyone. And just beat the hell out of them. That's a problem with these Hook figures. They really do trouble to stand sometimes. But that's pretty much going to wrap up our AEW Unrivaled Ringside Collectibles exclusive Hook action figure review, man. I guess you could call it the FTW Champion Hook exclusive. I don't really know. But if you guys already like what you see, again, you, 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 you watch the review. You enjoyed it. You like the accessories, man. Go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think it's a banger. I really do like this figure a lot. And I gotta get my hands on the cream hook, and then I gotta get my hands on the... Or actually, I already have two of the damn two-pack. I just haven't opened either one of them yet. I was gonna do a review on that. If you guys wanna see the hook housing review, let me know down in the comment section below. I still have Unrivaled 13 I haven't reviewed. Like, God in heaven, just... <laughs> Hit me in the face. Punch me in the fucking face. It reminds me of the damn Step Brothers clip. I might plug it in. However, man, I really do enjoy this figure. I think it's quality. I think if you guys missed out on the Unmatched Series 7, I would skip that completely and buy this one. I love the hoodie. I don't know if it's going to stain. I haven't noticed any staining, but it could definitely be possible. You know, I haven't seen it again, though, but I really like these accessories. I really wish it had, like, a chip-eating head sculpt or the bag was open or it came with an open bag just because you have a chip there and then you have it. What, what the hell happened to his bag? He was holding the bag of chips. What happened? Did he fumble it? Oh, my God, he fumbled it when he fell. God in heaven, son. Fumbling bags of chips. Nonetheless, I like a lot of the things going on with this figure, man. But that is going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys for their continued support and belief in me. Always love and appreciate you guys so very much for your continued support, man. That does not go unnoticed whatsoever. But yeah, man, I really enjoy the Hook figure. I think it's fantastic. I think it is better than the Unmatched Series 7. You get a lot of bang for your buck, I think. And you use the promo code, man. I think it's I think it's worth a shot, man. I think if you're going to buy a Hook figure, figure this is the one to buy. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.